Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today I'll be showing you how to set up your own VM using VMware Workstation Pro, although it should also work for other VMware products. If you're using VirtualBox, I've made a separate tutorial just on that, so you should check that out. In the future, I might make a video comparing the two, but for now, we will be setting up a new VM. The very first thing you'll notice if you're new to this is that VMware uses a wizard type interface to set up a virtual machine, which is really easy to follow. So you can go with the typical settings or the custom ones. I would recommend typical unless you really need to set specific things like the virtual disk type, which might be the case if you're switching between VirtualBox and VMware, for example, but we'll just go with typical. This is where you kind of provide your operating system disk image. I'll be installing Windows 10, which I have in lab, tools, and there you go, Windows ISO, and it automatically detects your OS. Now, if you want to install it separately yourself, you can always check this option, but I'll just go with the auto setup. Then you can give your computer a name. I'll leave it with the default one. And this is important, set the location for your VM. By default, it's in documents, but you may not want it there because VMs do take up a ton of space. So if you don't have a lot of space on your C drive, which is the case for me, I only have like a 128 gigabyte drive, you might want to switch to a different location. I'm just going to create a new folder that says VMware. And that should be good. Now VMware by default is going to split your virtual disk into multiple files and it will scale up as you use more data. So it's not by default going to take up the full space you give it. Feel free to play around with this number. I would leave it high because there's nothing to lose. If you don't use that much space, it'll never be taken up, but it's good to have that flexibility later on. Now, this is where you probably want to change a few settings because by default, it just gives you two gigs of RAM, not two CPU cores. It might vary depending on your system, but you can always click on customize hardware and precisely dictate how much you want to give your VM. So this is how much memory you want it to use. I would recommend at least three gigabytes if you're going with Windows 10. Of course, if you're running Linux or something else, it's gonna be much lower, but I just like to go with something like 3096, which is fairly safe. Now for processors, again, it depends a bit on your use case. I'm gonna go with four total cores, that's two cores and two threads, but that's just because I'm using a six core i7. If you have a different processor, you don't wanna give it that many cores. So ideally it should be half of the total cores your processor has. That way the VM cannot completely stall out performance on your host. Now for network adapter, if you wanna use the same network that's on your host machine, you wanna go with NAT. However, if you're using this for any kind of network testing or you want to be able to control the network adapter, a good example would be if you wanna use Wireshark with maybe a router in monitor mode, you might wanna use bridged, but I will go with NAT because that's good for me. Then you have USB settings, this is fine. Sound card, auto detect is fine. We don't really need any printers. For display, you wanna make sure you have the option to accelerate 3D graphics and graphics memory is something you can play around with. By default, it gives me one gigabyte. I do have a GTX 1060 on this system, so I could probably give it more. But again, depending on what hardware you have, you wanna choose your graphics memory wisely. 50% is a good rule of thumb. Now we'll close this out and finish. And as you will notice, it is going to create the disk for our configuration and then automatically start installing the OS. This is where VMware is a little bit more polished as compared to something like VirtualBox. We will press any key to boot. And now you would install Windows as you normally would on any regular system. I'm just gonna show you the first couple of steps, but there's no point following it through because this is just standard Windows installation. If you have a different operating system, it's gonna be different. So if it's Linux, you're gonna be greeted with the Linux setup here. But once you're happy with this, you can click next and install now. And then you just provide your product key and go forward. I'll introduce you to a few more basic controls. So there is a pause button on the top, as you might've noticed. 
What this does is it gives you all the options for the running VM so you can shut down the guest, suspend it or restart it. Suspend essentially is kind of like a pause where the memory is just held in place. So you can resume at any time. Think of it like a sleep on your laptop. You can also take snapshots if you have the feature, if you have um, any of the pro VMware products. I believe you can take unlimited snapshots and you do that by clicking on this little clock over here and that's how you create a new snapshot. You can revert using the button right next to it. And the options over here just tell you how to scale the display. So you can go full screen like we just did. And you can go back. You can show or hide certain panels. It's really intuitive at this point. So there you have it. That's how you get started using VMware Workstation. I might make a more detailed tutorial in the future as to how you use snapshots and how you do malware analysis and things like that approaches I recommend. If you want to see that video, let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know if you'd like to see a head-to-head -head comparison of VirtualBox and VMware and which one I prefer and why. Ah, a little bit of a teaser there. Don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Check out the PCSecurityChannel.com. This is Leo. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.